R Gaming is one of the biggest subreddits on Reddit. The social news aggregation site designed around users voting up or down on submitted content. I have a weird relationship with Reddit. On one hand, it can be really useful for directly interacting with fans and finding handy tips and tricks and jokes and all sorts for video games I'm playing or whatever. But there's also something so lame about it. Like if you did a word association game with the term our gaming redditor, this is what would immediately flash into your head. Pac-Man just gives me this feeling of giddiness, like there's all these tingles running up and down my nipples. I just can't not associate Reddit with gamers. If we say Facebook is an old lady and Instagram is an obnoxious Californian hipster, then Reddit would be kind of a dorky 13 to 24 year old little pushover bitch who on all of their social media would have their avatar be a custom made South Park OC. So with that in mind, let's zone into our gaming specifically. A community of 20 million plus epic gamers who all greatly enjoy gamer related topics and other epically funny and awesome things. I find the ultimate way to quickly summarize our gaming is with a picture I remember being unironically posted and shared by people on Facebook in around 2010 when I was in secondary school that read, I am a gamer not because I have no life, but because I choose to have many. A picture which has since been deservedly mocked and referenced as one of the most embarrassing creations in human history. All these tingles running up and down my nipples. I don't have anything against video games or sharing your enjoyment of video games. Of course I don't. In fact, I was playing my Xbox One 360 the other day and was quite frankly having a wicked time. But you have to admit that there's something intrinsic to one who chooses to identify as a gamer, to make being a gamer their number one personality trait. And R Gaming is a wonderful breeding ground of examples of what I mean. A true R Gaming gamer is cut from the same cloth. They have to love The Witcher 3, and if they don't think it's their favourite game, they at least have to have a profound, almost devout theological obsession with it, while at the same time have a passionate, deep-rooted hatred for EA, Call of Duty, microtransactions, you know, all the most obvious, done to death, predictable, expected stuff you can think of. There's a reason that in the last couple of years gamer culture has been memed so hard, because it is completely 100% worthy of it. Stereotypical gamers do themselves absolutely no favours. It's kind of coincidental how like in most games pigs are evil. Anything branded or advertised or shared towards the gaming crowd has to be the most unsubtle, obnoxious, blatant, dated, noisy, overly designed garbage around. Do you like awesome things that are awesome? Do you want to come and play? Call in the big gun! Okay, take this! Quick side note. Why do gamers love angles so much? I'm sure the mice, laptops, headsets and keyboards are nice to use, but why does it have to all look like it came from Cybertron? This general awkwardness in the medium translates into a typical gamer's personality and how they behave online. It's just kind of a fact that many gamers enjoy cringy things, so naturally have the propensity to be incredibly cringy. I hate using the word cringe all the time, but it, it is what what they are. So is it really surprising that when you have a forum stuffed with over 20 million of them, the things start to get a little bit... You know, our gaming is like a portal to 2009. We're seeing archaic and decrepit jokes and references. It's not only common, but expected. I guess it's the issue with any subreddit based around such a broad theme that is so popular. How could you possibly have any real discussion about games when every single upvoted post is a joke, clips from whatever is popular at the time, or just the same subject matter repeated over and over again? Our gaming has always been infamous for its EA hate boner, and you'd like to think it wouldn't be quite as bad as its reputation, but no. It's Every, it is everywhere! At least it's nice to know that the wizards of our gaming are single-handedly crushing a giant corporation. Oh, but Anthem looks quite good though. I'll buy the Legion of Dawn edition, but just not get any of the microtransactions. Yeah, 
That'll show them. To me, it seems completely redundant. I thought the entire point of subreddits was to eliminate the frustration of having large forums with no focus at all. Quite literally, every game has its own subreddit that's filled with discussion, memes, tips, and everything that you could ever need to know about games of importance. My personal favorite example being r slash rock raiders, the greatest subreddit of all time. When you combine gamer foolishness with Reddit's stereotypical race to the bottom, pathetic, self-deprecating style of desperate comments that would even make Sammy Classic Sonic fan recoil in disgust. It leads to a pretty bewildering load of shit. You don't need any flowery adjectives to describe it. It is just shit, and I'm sure most Reddit users would agree with me. How so many people can be completely oblivious and unaware, have so much to prove, and be such stereotypes is both hilarious and kind of sad in a way. Some of you are probably just thinking, if you don't like it, don't look at it, and yeah. The only reason I know anything about this subreddit at all is because I guess when you first create an account, you automatically get subscribed to it, and I never bother to unsubscribe. But I think it's time to say farewell. Good night, sweet prince. I won't miss your endless console wars. Yeah, they're still doing that. Your hatred of IGN. Endless nostalgia baiting for upvotes. Bragging about how you've reached level 1000 in Family Guy, another freaking mobile game. Unironically calling things epic all of the time. Upvoting pictures of girls cosplaying video game characters because you respect the art form of cosplay so much. Self-promoting your video on why Barack Obama should be a DLC character in Smash Bros. And... Is that... Is that, is that really a Half-Life 3 joke? Are you joking? Is that, re is that honestly a Half-Life 3 joke? No. No. No.